Now here's how today's going to work. First of all, thank you all for coming and attending the Pro Show this year. We don't have the biggest numbers, but we've certainly got some of the best quality we've ever had. To the guys who have travelled from the Arnold especially, thank you three for making this show very special today. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate the effort of you three when others have dropped out, making the way down here. It's not easy doing that trip after the show, so much respect to you guys for doing that. We've got some guys making their pro debut today who've never been on the pro circuit before. First and newest pro in the world, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Kevlianis from Greece. We'd like to welcome Michael. He's now an adopted Australian. We've got Ivan Sedek, who won his pro card in 2004, making his pro debut today. Five years getting ready for the show. Thanks, Ivan. We've got Grant from New Zealand, also making his pro debut today. Welcome, Grant. We've got uh, Con Dimitrio back from his pro debut on this stage last year. Welcome back, Con. Yep. Uh, we've got Rusty Jeffers from the United States. Thank you for coming out, Rusty. We'll just ask the pros to put on a great show tonight. If you want to pose for five minutes, you all can. It's just they're going to love everything you do, so enjoy yourselves. Have a great day, everyone. Welcome to Australia. I was busting my butt with every workout, and it felt like if I ever heard of a newcomer, you know, another up-and-coming Australian champion, I'd be worried that I was, he was on my tail or he was better than me. And, you know, I felt like I was always running, you know, always had to be ahead of the, the, the rest. When I was about 21 or 22, I had a year off and I did some modelling competition back then. And I was just really lean, I wasn't very muscular. And that was a good break. But then I still had my bodybuilding bug in my system and I, I wanted to, you know, continue competing. I had a coach, uh, John Torelli. He was like a former Mr. Universe. And um, I started training with him and uh, he taught me all this great stuff, but I actually went backwards because it was all new stuff. And I was trying to do his workouts and following his principles, but not taking on board all the things that I'd actually learned. And it didn't work. It was too much of a change for my body. And I actually looked terrible in my next competition. And um, I mean, I lost my competition. I didn't even place, but I didn't feel like giving up. I wanted to do better, you know, the next time. Then after that, I went to Cyprus for a few months, like four months, and I came back and I was uh, I was too smooth. It was for the uh, pro qualifier, and I, and I lost. And that day, I just felt like that's enough. I've there's too many other things in life I want to experience. You know, I've been too much of an extremist and just focusing all my life and energy onto this sport and there's all these other things that I wanted to do and I didn't get to do them. So I thought I want to get out there and, and try them all out. 96, I, I retired and then um, I, I actually couldn't find anything that I was passionate about like bodybuilding to put all that energy in. So I was just drifting for a while and I tried acting and I wasn't very good at it. Um, I got a few parts here and there uh, when I wasn't looking. I was a personal trainer for a while and I ended up training some high profile clients like Princess Diana. I was looking at the at the Ritz Carlton, they had like a, a gym set up there and the, the guy um, that was a sales rep for the equipment took me there to check it out. And when I was there we met the hotel manager and he was just getting into training and losing weight. I got along well with him and I started training him and started being his training partner and he lost a whole heap of weight. And then everybody in that area, which is quite an affluent area, and a lot of movie stars and that used to go there, and famous people, they all wanted me to train them. So I ended up becoming this like celebrity trainer. When Princess Diana came to the hotel, he was looking after her and he um, told her all about me and she wanted to meet me. And then David, the hotel manager said, well, why don't you train her now? So I, spur of the moment, I'm you know, training Princess Diana. <laughs> then after that, everyone wanted me to train them so I put all these trainers on and then it was getting a bit out of hand so I decided to open my own gym and then that's what I was doing for about eight years. Yeah around 98, 2000 I got into running uh, one of my clients wanted to go in the city to surf which is a 14 kilometre road run so I trained for that and my body weight dropped from 85 kilos to 75 so it felt really strange being so light I hadn't been that light for you know 10 years or more. A friend of mine actually said, um, I want to see you looking big. He was all proud of, you know, how I used to be, Mr. Australia, and uh, this guy was like a boxer. Yeah, he, he said, I, I reckon you should get big again, you know, and he was all like, excited about it, and I thought to myself, yeah, maybe I should. I just felt like my business wasn't doing that good, and I thought, you know, I felt, felt like a bit of a loser. I thought, well, I'm going to stick to what I'm good at and what I know. So I decided to, you know, get back into the bodybuilding. 
the muscle came back so quickly and it was just a great feeling. Like you, I felt like my identity was coming back and I felt you know good about myself. Well, <clears throat> my mother didn't have a TV. Well, she had this really crappy TV and, and the first prize was a beautiful flat screen TV and I actually, the only reason why I went in that comp was to see if I could win the TV for my mum. <laughs> I had eight weeks to get ready for it. So yeah, I, I, was, I was putting on muscle and losing fat at the same time, so I actually went from about 85 kilos up to, I think, 93 kilos, but I was, sounds like I put on eight kilos of muscle, but it was, it was way more because my fat was coming down as well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the win. I knew I had a chance. The guy that came second was actually much bigger than me. Apparently I had better shape or symmetry or something like that, and I ended up beating him. I saw Tony Doherty and I said to him, I really want to compete in your show. He said, I think you're ready for the show. And he had talked to Paul Graham and yeah, they, they decided to give me my pro card. Representing Australia, he made his pro debut right here this time last year. This day last year, he's big, he's bad, he's fat. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, Con Dimitriou. <laughs> really hard but when I was on stage I felt a bit flat you know I was a bit shaky so I don't know I thought I looked quite good if anything I could have filled out a little bit more by eating more food My plan was to come in really like lean and um, I thought I was quite lean. I didn't look really full because I was going more for that lean dry look. I thought I would have placed a bit higher, but again, they're all good, you know, really good bodybuilders out there. The first three, Silvio, um, Kai and Tony Freeman, well, that's obvious. But then when I didn't get the next call out, I was a bit disappointed. And then the, the following call out again, I didn't get. I thought, oh, well, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. Uh, well, now I'm expecting to come less than six, because like, it's quite obvious from the call outs. So. I don't want to say because I don't want to offend the other bodybuilders, but, and I don't like when other guys whinge about you know, complain about not placing high, but I thought I was around about six. But um, I, I can't really say until I see the, the footy. I walked out from backstage with my head down and I was, you know, a bit, I didn't feel comfortable walking out into the crowd. Then I had all these people coming up and wanting photos and saying that I look great and so I thought, oh wow, you know, it was, it was worth it. Yeah. 